Well, good morning, Jake. So a law that requires police to intervene when they see another officer using excessive force. Now, some departments like Ken PD here say this is something they already do. But what this law does is it makes it a statewide mandate for all officers in Washington. So not only must an officer intervene, they also must give first aid to the victim and report any wrongdoing they see to the Criminal Justice Training Commission so they can decide if suspension is necessary. Now, that commission has been been given more authority to suspend officers under these new laws, but also by the end of January, January, they must provide guidelines on how to intervene and provide first aid training in some of those really difficult situations, which they say starts with officers slowing down. Chief Padilla here with Ken PD says it also often starts with officers stepping up and doing the right thing. And you have other people there and someone might say, well, let me talk to them. I have a family member that has this problem or the mental health person is going to be here in a few minutes. If we can just keep them talking and keep our cover um, where we're safe, then everybody's OK. Saying, you know, I don't think this went well. I, I want to report it and that way we can look at it, see, look at the facts and make a determination. Now, Chief Padilla also says the law adds some new language that isn't defined in the law. For example, the words wrongdoing or de minimis of consequence, those are still vague. He says they are working with their legal teams to draw clearer lines on making that distinction for when officers know to intervene uh, when, they, when they see that excessive force being used. For now, reporting live in Kent, Angelie Cockaday, King 5 News. All right.